I was afraid you were going to ask me how many friends do you have because that's an embarrassing <laughs> answer. <laughs> Maybe I don't have many friends, and yeah, I, I hope that after this episode, that the kids will stay home. Good afternoon and welcome to the very third episode of our podcast, Two Tablespoon Kalish. And this week we are going to have a very chilled out topic. Uh, and we hope to give out more Kalish because that's been the feedback that our name is Kalish, but we're not being Kaleshi enough. So buckle up because today is going to be a free fall of all things Kalish because we are going to discuss friendships and Kalish in friendships. Hi, Aishwarya. How are you? Hi, hi. So I'm like from that feedback that you just said that you know we are not being Kalishi enough. At least our in-laws are happy. <laughs> They've got the good bunch. अच्छी लड़की है. Fun कर रही है थोड़ा सा. पर side side hobby है. So सही बकरे हैं. But yeah. Today's uh, topic is something I think जिसके बारे में कंटेंट तो हमारे पास बहुत है बट लाइक जस्ट टू स्टार्ट बट आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू समृति हाउ हैज योर फ्रेंडशिप ग्राफ बिन ओवर द इयर्स वेन आई से दैट आई मीन टू से यू लाइक वेरी फ्रेंडली इन स्कूल कॉलेज लाइक यू हैड अ बिग पंच एंड टूडे लाइक यू नो लाइक इट हैपन्स विद मोस्ट ऑफ अर्स दैट वी आर जस्ट लेफ्ट विद अ हैंडफुल ऑफ फ्रेंड्स सो हाउ हैज इट बिन फॉर यू या इट्स लाइक अ पिरामिड in school you <laughs> have big gang i remember in class 3 or 4 i did this random birthday party and i took my uh-huh. father's car around the colony we used to live in a small town and i collected every possible girl in the colony because i wanted to celebrate my birthday and i didn't even know most of them i wasn't friends okay. with friend with probably in hindsight i was friends with probably two to three people out of them but like you know as you grow up in college i think the last time we made a good quality and quantity mix was in college um i happened to have a very good first job so i have some very good friends from then as well but then since then it's been like a pyramid like i don't remember the last time i made a new friend i think it was years yeah. and jo bache kuch reh gaye i was afraid you were going to ask me how many friends do you have because that's an embarrassing <laughs> answer <laughs> maybe i don't have many friends and yeah i, I hope ki is episode ke baad jo hai wo bache reh jaye kyunki <laughs> main bahut khush hu hu apne existing friends se <laughs> let's just say that yeah but like i can relate to you on that part ki like you know when you are in a school or college then then it's i don't know i can't even remember how i used to make friends i always now look back and i think like people came and said that you are my friend and i just went with them and then it resulted in like, like you know lifetime wali friendship or something like that because i really don't remember when did i take an initiative to be someone's friend so yeah. while i would not i'm like a introvert or you know um, like i am not afraid to talk to new people or anything like that but but forming friendships is a very time taking process and i think uh, that's why it's easier in schools and colleges because literally you are stuck with that person for a few years right it might be for your growing years in the uh, classes or four years in the degree like you know um, yeah. we spent so i think that is where relations uh, develop organically and that is also where uh, you for me personally from the school uh, college in the college time the filtration process started i yeah. was like okay at the end of the college i was like okay x y z these are my four five best friends you know so i have always had like multiple best friends also four five <laughs> best friends wow and then my- friends used to be like you know okay you you are best friends with that person and i think no 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 i'm best friends with everyone okay cheating karta hai tu cheat so um, but then i think after i started my first job so that transition from college to a job that all only started that filtration process there are people whose expectations are too much from you and you are doing that and still uh, somehow uh, you end up disappointing people or they their preferences change in life so i think the first time i actually you know had to let go of a friendship that was very difficult on me like you know it felt worse than a first heartbreak or my first breakup yeah so but then taking that decision that okay 
though you were very good friends you spent a lot of time together efforts were you know spent on that relationship but sometimes it's very okay to let go of people who are not adding anything to your life i mean not to sound selfish they're not uh, making it more meaningful or they're just being a cause of stress and not happiness and i think all relationships should get you happiness at the end of the day yeah. so sam like any instances for you where you had to let go of a friendship i have let gone of people like that in my life and when i look back that's why probably i don't have any friends but do i regret <laughs> it i don't think so you know they say what is that saying that um you should keep your circle small and bear child or something like that you know and uh, <laughs> it just happened organically because i have dropped off people from my life for reasons big and small whether you bring add some value to my life is a very big reason that is something mm. that i started to realize in my late 20s but in my early mm. 20s i still had a lot of expectations i probably had more mm. expectations from my friends than i had from my uh, you know partners back then etc and uh, the so jo disappointment ki practice hui hai wo mere doston se hi hui hai now i know that okay. not, uh, expect friendships have thrived which have had zero expectations from both ends for that matter any relationship yeah so yeah. i have i have dropped off people because they've lied to me about something um and it could be small or big if they've lied to me about being in a relationship with one person or two people and the second or the third person coming at me and saying ki tumko pata tha ki nahi and that was enough for me to be like meko I don't want to hang out with this person because they're not simple enough in in my life. But back then, I used to I I used to be very righteous, and I used to choose friends like that. And so now I'm left with. <laughs> <laughs> The most, I'm the most uh, funniest or the weirdest reason you have dropped off a friend in your life. I don't know if it is like a funny reason or something. Uh, see, I have literally, I would say that there are two or three people that I have actually let go, yeah. and uh, one of them doesn't even know that she has been asked <laughs> to let go from my life. So that's like a silent breakup process. <laughs> that's there, where in my mind I have told myself that this is over, but the other person is still not aware. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> uh, this thing where you said that there are expectations, and sometimes I feel that I am not able to do the bare minimum. Also, when it comes to friendships, yeah. so uh, I feel there is a lot of guilt that there are my friends with whom I need to, you know, speak more, or I I, I think about them a lot. Like you know, what this person must be doing? Are they fine? What's happening in their life? Like I do my checkups, like you know, okay, social media, my story, dal di, ha, ठीक है, मस्त चल रहा है और, but I'll not do that effort of you know picking up the call and uh, calling that person and actually telling them that I'm thinking about them. Yeah. So I think that that is one of the things that I am realizing now, uh, like at this age, and I'm still not doing anything much about it. So yeah. let's see if uh, I'll be also let go of their lives, you know, very soon <laughs> because of this. But uh, what about you, like? or in terms of initiatives like do you take any initiatives for your friendships like maybe you know calling on someone or doing some kind of activity like that so historically i have not been that person historically okay. mere life mein jitne bhi log reh gaye hain aur close reh gaye hain it's because they have taken the initiative to stay connected hmm. check in on me be there for me hmm. ask for my presence in their life whenever they have needed and once you ask me then i'm that person who will be there obviously but i'm not that person who will come and keep checking in on you etc but uh, same in my late 20s when you start like looking back and you like you know are there people and you count your uh, folks you collect your tribe whatever you call them yeah koi hai ki nahi hai matlab who will cry when i yeah. i type books padhne lagte ho aap so then you are like ha ab to nurture karna padega relationship tali ek haath se nahi bachti hai let me call somebody it's easier when i've taken my antidepressants and i'm uh, on a good <laughs> role mental health wise obviously it's easier to pick up the phone but of course like for somebody like me who goes through mental health phases down phases i don't even talk to my husband for a week 
so it's very difficult for me to pick up the phone and like you know call someone that's that yeah. i am blessed with people who get that acha say that we are ride or die right just because you spoke about being uh, you know in that mental phase where you're not open to talk to anyone yes, yes. so even i have realized that i might be at the lowest of my uh, lowest you know and then i don't want to also speak to someone i know there's someone who's there for me yeah. there's someone who i can talk to but even uh, you know i don't know whether it's like with i don't want to bother them that kind of feeling or i don't want to share uh, you know what i'm feeling i'll just do with that so at the end of the day it also brings to a question that while we are very close like there are very good friends and everything around it still is very difficult to you know open up in a way like maybe we used to in the past you know pehle to kuch bhi ho jata ha yeah pehle kuch bhi hota tha you pick up you know like 3 am friend at yeah. friend at you just call and rant about something now you're more conscious of their time their attention yeah. like they are in the space or mood or not to receive it how you are being perceived mai zyada like you know i don't want to be a complainer about my life and everything yeah. so there's a lot people get very complicated yaar adulthood sucks like that aap kahan the gyani baba we are only over complicating these feelings and uh, like you said that you know once you are past a certain age it is impossible to make friends like according to me and yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so like i can just recall the time that since uh, i shifted to hyderabad for my job like i have met people it's not like i have uh, been living in a bubble and not seeing people it's just that the kind of standards that are <laughs> set in my mind you know the ex- the enriched feeling that i get from my existing friendships yeah. is like i don't even screen you for this job because you don't qualify yes. so uh, you know like you said that uh, whatever friends that i have still managed to make have been through my job there are you know two or three people who i feel are uh, very good and we met in that kind of setting where there was maybe trauma bonding because we were all you know bitching about our uh, situations but that has kind of led for me to you know make a couple of good friends but unfortunately they don't live in the same city so it's just again <laughs> more virtual friends out wow. there कैसे कैसे लोग रहते हैं यार यहाँ पर एंड इट डजेंट मैटर दैट व्हाट नंबर ऑफ फ्रेंड्स यू हैव आई थिंक इवन इफ यू हैव अ कपल ऑफ देम एंड देयर दैट यू नो दैट अश्योरिंग लाइक दैट रिलेशनशिप इज दैट अश्योरिंग इन दैट वे आई थिंक दैट्स द बेस्ट वे वी कैन नो फॉर लाइक फॉर इन आर थर्टीज इफ वी हैव सम पीपल बाय फोर्टीज वील है द सेम वंस वी होप सो आई नो ऑफ पीपल इन देयर फिफ्टीज एंड सिक्सटीज हु आर लेफ्ट विद नो फ्रेंड्स and they are doing fine only by themselves so i seek a lot of comfort in that <laughs> because knowing how i am i'm most probably going to be one of those people in my 60s <laughs> actually one of the things that i'm very happy about genuinely like whoever little people i have in my life um, like usme se majority of my best friends have not budged and settled for a marriage because of any kind of peer pressure so i am like wo dekh ke i am very happy i am like ki bhai ab tere wajah se i can also delay my baby to plan <laughs> so aaram se you get married <laughs> my kids will play only with your kids so that gives me a lot of you know a sense of peace that uh, there are people who don't get affected by the peer pressure you know ki aas paas sab ka ho gaya and all that and they're taking their own time and doing things as per their i think that's that's something that i'm very proud about i never say this out loud to them but this is something that's there <laughs> that's cute you need such people who are on the same timeline with you otherwise yeah yeah but i met uh, one of my friends uh, yesterday for a girls night and it's so good to have such benchmarks she is very clear that she doesn't want to have kids and uh, recently she also found out that uh, उसकी कुंडली में भी बच्चा नहीं लिखा है एंड दैट कॉन्वर्सेशन ओपनली विद हर पेरेंट्स सो नाउ हर पेरेंट्स आर लुकिंग फॉर अ बॉय हु आल्सो डजंट वांट अ चाइल्ड सो दैट यू नो दे आर अलाइव एंड टू हैव सच एग्जांपल्स एज आई क्रेव फॉर सच एग्जांपल्स एज फ्रेंड्स या या नो दैट्स दैट्स व्हाट आई एम सेइंग यू नो दैट फीलिंग ऑफ सीइंग पीपल अराउंड यू नॉट रेडी टू सेटल इन बिकॉज़ ऑफ एनी काइंड ऑफ प्रेशर इज द बेस्ट फीलिंग एंड लाइक यू नो लेट एवरीवन 
do things at their own pace you know that is just amazing but you know just to sum it up samriddhi i think uh, we need to add more color she thoda se wholesome ho gaya ha ye like sweet ho gaya kuch to our friends waisa ho gaya my amore my amore